Hi, welcome to Clayground. My name's Karen and in today's video I'm going to show you how to create a leaf cane. So we're going to be making a leaf cane that looks like this one. So what we're going to start off with is some green clay. You don't have to use green, you know leaves are all different colours. Um, so I've got some green clay here that I've conditioned and I've rolled into a ball. Now what I want is a cylinder shape. So just with my hand or I like to use an acrylic block, more of a precise shape. I'm just rolling slightly and flattening down on one side. So there we have our nice cylinder shape. I'll just flatten it just a little bit more. There we go. And with my blade, I'm just going to make about four cuts. One, two, so you get all the way down with the blade. So that's one, two, three, and four. So I've made four cuts there. And I've taken some darker green clay. It's more like a, a tealy color actually, like a bluey green. And I've rolled that quite thinly through the pasta machine or with a roller, but it's quite thin. And I'm just going to layer in between these cups. So I'm just going to lay each piece. Onto the green. Cut around the green pieces. Don't have to be too precise with those. Just use your blade to lift up and you can just trim off the ends, obviously. Watch your fingers. Trim off the ends and just remember which way it went on in the first place, that is important. And we'll do the same with these pieces. So it's quite a quick and easy um, cane to make compared with some of the other more complex canes. So just trimming off those edges. And the last one. So all together and that's what it should look like when the, once all the pieces are together. Now I'm going to take the blade and I'm not going to cut down the centre, I'm just going to cut at a little bit of an angle here across the stripes. So take the blade and just take that all the way down and it should look like that inside. And what we're going to do is just line that centre piece with the dark green. And put the two halves together. Yes, this time, that's what it looked like before. Now I've put the piece in, then what you do is you turn the, 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 the whole the half around and you put them together, making sure that the lines roughly meet. It doesn't matter if they're a little bit 
off centre. So there's your leaf. Now all there is left to do is to shape it and reduce it so that you can get it long like this. And you can even get it to go really small like this one. So there's no rolling involved with this because obviously we need to keep the leaf shape so it's just lots of squeezing and lots of pulling and just try to keep that leaf shape so what I'm doing is I'm pressing more at the top trying to keep it quite rounded at the bottom. Now I know it looks like it's all going out of shape but when we cut into it in a minute you'll see that the shape's still there. I think we'll have we'll cut into it now and have a, a little look. And there it is, there's the leaf shape. I hope you can see, I hope you can see that. Like I say you can get the leaf to go really really small like that one and I'll just show you quickly how I've uh, put the leaf onto a bead so I've reduced the cane down really small I've cut away some tiny slices there I've taken some of the dark green clay and I've just placed on just randomly some of the leaves that I've cut, give them a little press and then just in the palms of your hands roll them and there you have your bead and then you can just insert a cocktail stick in there to make the hole so there you have beads, I'll just show you something else that you can do with the canes um, you can um, make bigger slices and you could use those for earrings or you can just take a slice and pop a, pop a hole through there and you just have a leaf bead okay so there's your leaf cane thanks for watching